rounding numbers. I know that in second or third grade, you were asked to do a problem like this. Round 627 to the nearest hundred. And you may have um, used a number line, you may have used some rounding rules, but what I want you to understand is what that actually means when you're asked to round a number. When you're asked to round to the nearest hundred, you can think about it like this. If you counted by hundreds, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, which hundred would your 627 fall closest to? That's what rounding is, is talking about. Whatever place value you're given, you, which, um, if you counted by that place value, which one would it fall nearest? So if we used a number line and we put our hundreds, um, each multiple of 100, 500, 600, 700, 800, we could think about placing 627. It's helpful to think about what's between 600 and 700, which is 650, and 627 is less than that. So once you place it on the number line, you can see that 627 is closer to 600, so it would round to 600. We would get the same results if we follow the rounding rules that I know you have learned. Um, let's look at them here quickly, and then I'm going to show you another way that you can think about the rounding rules in a minute. But first, you start by finding the place value that you're rounding to. Ones place, tens place, hundreds place. So there's the hundreds place that we're asked to round to. I like to underline it. You might have been taught to circle it, whatever, some, some way you're going to mark it. If the digit to the right, that would be this one, is less than 5, round down. If the, this digit is 5 or greater, you're going to round up. Since this digit, this 2, which is to the right of the 6, is less than 5, we're going to round down to the nearest 100. So the 100 down from 627 is 600. You can also tell yourself that this 6 would stay the same. Then you're going to make sure you change digits to the right of the rounding place. Here's the rounding place, so to the right, to zeros. So this stayed the same, and these two digits became zeros. Now, um, if you know how to use the rounding rules perfectly, no problem. But I have a um, strategy here that another teacher friend taught me that is so helpful to me in thinking about which, is, which digit to look at and which one is the zero to four thing. This, this strategy might help you. So let's, let's try it out. It's called the rounding rocket. And we're going to use this problem to go through and, and try it out. So you're first asked to draw a rocket around the named place value. Well, in this problem, I've been asked to round to the 10,000th place. So I want to put my rocket around the 10,000th place. Ones place, tens place, hundreds place, comma, thousand, ten thousand. There it is. So I'm going to draw my little rocket. You can just draw a triangle. It's perfectly fine, or you can make it fancier if you, if you want to. The digit to the right is mission control. Now, if you want to make some kind of mark on there to tell you that it's mission control, I think that's a good idea. I'm going to put a little MC on top to say stand for mission control, but you could do something else. You could underline it, you could circle it, whatever you want to do. Zero through four on mission control means that the, that the rocket does not take off. It stays right where it is. The rocket stays and smoke or zeros cover all the digits after the rocket. So we would have this rocket, if this had been a smaller number, 0 through 4, this rocket would stay, and we would do zeros over all of these. Well, let me show you what happens because this um, digit to the right of the rocket is bigger. 5 through 9 in mission control means that the rocket gets to blast off to one digit higher. So this, this number right here counts down 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 blast off and I show it by drawing an arrow and showing that it goes up to a 7 It blasts off to the next number. Then the really cool part, when a rocket blasts off, even if it goes up or just stays where it is, either way after the mission control gets to zero, we always have smoke come out and it goes like this and covers all the digits and they're zeros. So now all the digits to the right of the rocket says all, all the digits after the rocket become zeros. So the number that we have here is our answer. The one and the two stay the same. The six in the ten thousands place blasted off to a seven. And then everything else turned to zeros. So rounded to the ten thousands place, it's one million two hundred seventy thousand. 
So let's try that strategy with these two problems down here. In um, looking for the ten thousands place, ones place, tens place, no, sorry, it says thousands, ones place, tens place, hundreds place, comma, thousands. So I'm going to draw my rocket there. This digit, one to the right, is the um, mission control. This guy counts down four, three, two, one, zero, and nothing happens. The rocket just sputters. <laughs> So it coughs up some zeros, and the rocket doesn't go anywhere. So it's rounding by staying the same, and the answer is 591,000. One more problem in the millions place, uh, ones place, tens place, hundreds place, comma, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, comma, million, there it is. I'm going to put my rocket around the millions place, and this guy is mission control. Mission control counts 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, blast off. And the 3 blasts off to a 4, goes up to the next highest number because this is 5 or greater. And it also lets out a lot of smoke and all those numbers turn to 0. So it becomes 4 million when rounded to the millions place. In other words, if I was counting by millions, 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, 4 million, 5 million, this number is closer to 4 million than 3 million. Sometimes you're going to see some problems that have some tricky nines in them, and it's really not as hard as it looks, um, so I'm going to show you what to do if you have a nine that needs to bump up. In this problem, we're rounding to the ones place, tens place, hundreds place, comma, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. We're rounding to the hundred thousands place. So we would have our rocket here, and mission control would tell the rocket to blast off to the next highest digit. Well, the next highest number is ten, and I can't, like, put a little 10 right in there. It's going to make mess my number up because I can't have two digits in one place value. When that happens, it's um, sort of like when you add and you have to carry over into the next place value. When that happens, if you have a 9 that has to go up, the next place value to the left goes up 1. So we take, we go 1 over to the left, and this is the guy who blasts off to an 8. All other digits to the right of that one that just went up turn to zeros. So it becomes 50, oops, 58 million. Because this 9 had to go up, well, since it can't have put a 10 there, we bump the next number up to the next highest digit. So let's do two more examples with tricky 9s. Um, I'm rounding to the 10 thousands place, and this 5 tells the 9, so here's their rocket, mission control tells the 9 to go up. Well, it can't go up to a 10, so it tells this digit to go up. Go up from 0, 1 is just going to be 1. So this one's going to turn out to be 48,100,000. This 9 bumped this one up to the next highest number. Here's another example in the 10 thousands place. My mission control, this 7, tells the 9 to blast off. And it's going to tell this next digit, which is really an invisible zero, it's going to tell that digit to turn to a 1. And so we're going to get 100,000 when this 9 bumps up. So here's a common kind of problem that you're going to get that's going to use your rounding skills to so in order to solve it. Select all of the numbers that will round to 19,000 when rounded to the nearest thousand. Notice that this is saying select all of the answers, which likely means that there will be more than one. So we're going to go through each problem, and the, the easiest way to do this is to round it to the thousands place and see what happens, and see if we get this as the answer, 19,000 as, as the answer. So in this one, round it to the thousands place, there's the thousands place. This nine is going to tell this nine to go up. Well, it can't. It has to bump this one up, so this number is going to round to 20,000. Not the same, not an answer we're going to choose. Here, there's my rocket. This 4 is going to tell the 8 to just stay the same, and then everything else is going to turn to zeros. So this is going to round to 18,000. Too small. Here, oh. We've got an extra digit here. I bet they were trying to trick us by putting the same digits in the front. But if I'm looking at the thousands place, that's this one, 
it's just going to look back here and it's, this zero is going to tell the rocket to stay the same. That's going to be humongous, way bigger than 19,000. All right, and this one, here's the thousands place. The one tells the nine to stay the same. It doesn't blast off and everything else becomes zeros. So this one is going to become 19,000. So this will be a correct answer. And then here is the thousands place. And this one's mission control. This seven tells the eight to go up one to a nine. To a nine. Everything else becomes zeros. And this one rounds to 19,000. So this is another correct answer.